Hi there, it's Amy here for Conflower Iris, and here's the card I'll be making in this video. So it's uh, for the colour throwdown challenge with the colours green, craft and white. Be sure to check out the blog, I'll leave a link in the video description. So to start off with, I'm making a twisted easel card. So this means that I've got a square card base that's five and three quarter inches square, and then I'm scoring along the centre in a diagonal to create this twisted card front. I'll then use a piece of five and three quarter inches square card on the front. I've stamped all the images using a stamping tool from the Stampender Seashell Stamp Set onto some white cardstock with archival ink in sepia. And then I'm using some Prismacolor pencils. I just got this set and I love them, they're fantastic. So I picked five different colours and I've put the information over on my blog. I'm using the Derwent Superpoint Manual Pencil Sharpener to sharpen them. It's a fantastic tool. It makes sure that the pencils don't break, even though Prismacolors are known for their breakage and it also ensures the finest point so that you can get really into some details. So on every case I've put down a base layer, just used some oval um, strokes to make a nice even coat and then gone in with some other colours to add highlights and darker shades. So this is going to be a few minutes long, I've sped it up twice, um, so I'll be quiet for a moment, put on some music and let you watch the colouring in.
This stamp set from Stampenders has lots of lines and details in the images, so it's really easy to see where to add the shading. But you can of course be creative and do whatever you feel like, and add some texture as well. I have the coordinating dies for these stamps, so I'm using those to cut them out with some scotch removable tape, which is much nicer I find than using masking tape, and out they pop very easily. So they cut right in the line as well, so you don't get any of that white border. I'm now going to use some mixed media kind of techniques. I've got some Liquitex medium in a coarse texture gel, and then I have some acrylic paint that I'm mixing it with. I probably should have gone with a lighter colour, but for now this will do. So I'm applying this on the bottom to make it look like there's a little beach down there with some sand. And this is going to really tie in with the seashell theme, and um, it's going to provide a little bed for a starfish below the stopper. I'm using a palette knife to apply this, and I'm leaving a little bit of texture in there and then smoothing it out and making it really look like a beach. So I've used some dyes from Sue Wilson's Indian Ocean Collection to cut out some mats and layers for the sentiment, and then I cut out the border directly from the card front, and I'm going to layer a white piece of card behind this. I then cover the card front in some cheesecloth to really add some texture, and um, it really adds another dimensional element too. So I'm using some tape runner on the back, and then I'm going to use some liquid glue to sandwich the white panel behind. And then I'm sorry, but I managed to lose lots of footage. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So I'm going to explain to you what I did with the rest of the card. I glued the layers together and used some, a stamp set from Sweet Dixie to stamp Life is Tough, but so are you, onto the front in archival link, and then pop this up with frown pads along with two seashells. I put the five and three quarter inch panel on the front and then used a stopper out of two of the seashells just with some foam pads to make sure that when it's standing it stands perfectly and just put the starfish on top of the sand with some liquid glue again. So I'll leave you with some still images. I hope you've enjoyed this video despite its short length and um, do check out the Colour Throwdown blog. Uh, I'll leave a link in the video description. Please don't forget if you did like my video to subscribe and hit the like button. And you can also find me on Instagram and other social media. Thanks for watching.